it's 6 30 in the morning and we are about to go skydiving with our friends the baileys the wild thorn baileys you might know them we are very tired it is new year's eve and we are about to go jump 18,000 feet out of an airplane right over Cape Canaveral. How are you feeling? Girl. Happy birthday. Thank you. How are you feeling, Josh? Tired. Yeah. Did you guys have fun last night? I ate a baby octopus. You. It was disgusting. But yeah, I did it. Korean Poor baby octopus. <laughs> All right, we just got to the skydiving place. We are with the Baileys and Eric. So we are at Cape Canaveral and we're going to go skydiving. It's the world's tallest skydive at 18,000 feet, like the world's tallest skydive. So, and we're gonna jump over Cape Canaveral and you can see the uh, Space Center and all of that. So we're about to go inside and you guys have never been skydiving I've before. Have you been skydiving? Been. Oh, wow, okay. So Dev and I's first date was actually skydiving. That was the first video that we uploaded to YouTube, actually. Um, so this is your fourth or your fifth time? Fourth or fifth, I can't remember. Okay, and this is my second. So, so. after this, I'm done. Yeah, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, okay, let's go inside. I'm signing my life away. I so I have to write this statement. I realize that skydiving, parachuting, flying, and other parachute related activities are inherently dangerous activities which may result in permanent, serious, or catastrophic injuries, even my death. So I'm gonna fill this out. I'm like not even nervous. I feel like I should be nervous. I think I'm only nervous about being on the airplane. Because remember last time I was only nervous about the airplane too. I mean, it's so, it's so safe doing this like you're more likely to die in a car accident than skydiving so you know like we were in more danger driving here <laughs> than like actually jumping out of the airplane I feel like it's like excessive you have to sign so many papers it is cool to like write that this is the last day of the year because it's almost like we're like jumping out of like this year and like we're like this year sucked man awesome thank you Literally the worst part for me is jumping out of an airplane. Like they're not like a nice smooth airplane. No, it's gonna be like and a the, bumpy ride. Yeah, and like it's loud and the door is open. Like the door is open on the airplane. Thank you to Dish Outdoors for sponsoring this video. Dish was very easy to install, and now we can take our favorite TV channels with us wherever we go. Now, wherever we are, we can use our go-to streaming apps and watch all of our favorite channels, including sports, which is an essential channel in our family. Wherever we are, whether it be campground or off the grid, we can host tailgate parties with our friends without having to worry about a missed moment of the big game. Or have a fun family movie night. Dish Outdoors is TV that travels with you. It delivers reliable pay-as-you-go programming as flexible as your travel plans, complementing any outdoor adventure with the ultimate entertainment experience. Click the link in the description to check them out and use code NOMAD to save $50 on a Dish Outdoors bundle. Again, a huge thank you to Dish Outdoors for sponsoring this video. Good morning guys, it is 6.15 in the morning and we are going to go skydiving. Um, we were gonna go on New Year's Eve, but it was the weather was too bad and they called it after we were there for five hours waiting. There's supposed to be a rocket launch and, um, and we're like, we have it timed where Honestly, we might be able to see the rocket launch while we're in the air. It's a very real possibility, uh, but I'm not terribly certain if that's actually gonna work out that way. Morning. Morning. Where are we going? We're going up there. <laughs> Ready to go skydiving? Yeah, where are we going skydiving at? Base Center skydiving. <laughs> I gotta look that up. Ready to go. The 
So actually our first date was skydiving. Oh really? Yeah, so oh and that was the last time, I haven't gone since then. Yeah, so this is kind of special for us. Yeah. That was so cool getting to talk to her because like I did not realize that it was, I mean I knew it was safe. I knew it was safer than like being in a car but I had no idea that like they've been doing this for 30 years and not one person has died doing tandem jumps. That's like, I mean, I don't know if that's everywhere, but that makes me feel really, really good. Like astronauts, they go, because they're keeping the blood in their head and while they're breathing or else they'll pass out. So it's and like I'm, a I'm worried. Breath. I'm worried that we're gonna hop out of the plane, lose our, lose consciousness and just be like. Help it down. <laughs> so do you make your face red or you, you try to- I ain't gonna remember that. As much blood you try, in your you head as possible so you don't pass out. <gasps> Everyone's trying it. It's like, through that video, this out. is yeah. the most important oh, yeah. thing that we learn. No matter who you're going with, if it's gonna go wrong, it'll only go wrong once. You won't have to do it again. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Woo! Family of nomads! Are you guys excited? Um, I'm excited. I'm excited too. I'm not even like nervous. I'm nervous about the airplane. I don't think I'm nervous either. I'm, I'm more... When that lady said that she hasn't had anybody die from tandem skydiving in the 30 years that they've been doing this, I was like, honestly, we were in more danger driving here. Yep. And Absolutely. we were in more danger leaving here in our car. It does not make me feel good as the driver, but... <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna like ask him a question, but I don't want them to get nervous and distracted from their like ritual of doing stuff. So I was gonna like record me like asking questions, but I don't want them distracted. <laughs> Like, do you have any advice for anybody? Like, how did you feel? Like, what I was felt amazing? When we left, Grace was like, I wanna go, I wanna go skydiving. I was like, I'll take you for your 18th birthday. I jumped out at 18,000 feet. And so, <laughs> who very can say cool. they did that? I mean, not we very many We can say people. we did that. 18,000 feet. 
All right, let's go do something really dangerous and get in the car and go home. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, we're family of nomads and we're the Wild Thorn Baileys. These are some of our friends and we just jumped out of an airplane together at 18,000 feet. And what did you guys think of the experience? It was incredible. This was your first time skydiving and first. this was my second and your fifth. fifth. And our first date was well, Scott. Kind of yes, so this was really cool to do this again. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of our future videos. Bye. Like we should like get our license and be professional skydivers. Is that's what you want to do? Yes. That, and oh, we can take, we can do this all around the country. <gasps> Go to different airports. We can hire people from the campgrounds to come help us, or we can teach them. Yeah, we can just build a whole community. We don't have to travel anymore. No, we, can we just do because skydive into right. places. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, we want to go to Yosemite. Yeah, we'll just drop in right there. in. Yes. Yeah, just jump right in. Oh my god, we should do that. Yeah, so we can instead of traveling by RV, we can travel by parachute. Yes, yeah. we we can be the pair of travelers. Pair travelers. Pair of travelers. Pair of travelers. Yes. Yeah. That's, that's, yeah. That's it. All right, so guys, follow our channel, Pair of Travelers. And yeah, we'll start that next week. <laughs> yeah, to today. When we get home, give us three hours. Yeah, okay. Perfect. Okay, all right, bye. Let's, let's go to get some gas station tacos. Okay. And then we'll, yeah. Okay, bye.